I'm 10 News reporter Matt Boone downtown, where protesters marched from the Mexican consulate to the federal building. So that's the only way we can do it, is by getting enough people aware of the issue, out into the streets, and creating that pressure that forces a change. Along with the usual protest paraphernalia, picket signs, and bullhorns, <laughs> this one also had art. She was shot in the back of the head by the border patrol. Artist Antonia Davis paints full-size portraits of migrants who have been killed or died while crossing the border. These two children died within two weeks of each other. The protesters are calling for faster processing of migrants seeking asylum and say they're not just protesting President Trump. This isn't just like a Trump issue, that this is an issue that has been going on for decades. But one that has recently intensified, shutting down the government as both sides continue to dig their heels in. And we will continue doing these kinds of actions to get our point across. And tomorrow these groups say they're organizing again, but this time they're going to be marching down to the border. Reporting downtown tonight, Matt Boone, 10 News.